Okay, Wuhan virus, Kung flu, people, Asian reporters being called Kung flu, those things are racist. The rise in attacks against members of the AAPI community, that is also racist. People there, just beating people indiscriminately on the street because they are Asian. Look, uh, during a look, pandemic where the President of the United States of America is saying China, China, China about it is racist. There is a way to talk about the lab. Dan, I didn't right. cut you off, and I really disagreed with Jessica, what you Jessica, I want to get, I want to, you made your point. I want to get Greg in here, though. Yep. Wuhan plague, go. Um, yeah, listen, I don't want to hear another peep from a liberal or a talking head media buffoon ever again about a conspiracy theory, okay? They never produce evidence about any of this stuff. You had the pee, pee hoax, remember that with the collusion thing? There was no evidence of that either, but that became an international scandal. There was no evidence that this thing ever came from a bat or a pangolin or whatever. We still haven't produced the animal. It's amazing how we have a worldwide pandemic and don't have one single sample from a bat or pangolin or others now what's even more infuriating about this is anyone with common sense who was outside the liberal media ecosystem would have seen from the start that this was probably a lab leak let's just walk through some basic facts folks in case you missed these and you were reading the new york times we had a lab in Wuhan where the pandemic originated that studied bat coronaviruses where a coronavirus got out and they studied gain of function experiments to make them more powerful and the lab had security problems in the past? Must be natural. That's what liberals came to the conclusion. This has got to be one of the most infuriating stories in modern history, and it's all the media's fault. One more quick thing on this. And what was incredible about it is when the Chinese government put out propaganda, don't you dare say that this was a lab leak. Someone ate bat soup. And then people commented about people eat bat soup. Everybody was called a racist for even commenting on bat soup for a story that was obviously Chinese propaganda. This is an infuriating mess. The media should just wrap up shop and go home.